our families are in desperate need for divine intervention is that true hmm. father not working mother not working 13 children 10 of them not working all of them graduates Hapa. there is need for a strange intervention how about human agents that will sit on your destiny and vow and say for as long as we are here we fraternize with darkness to jeopardize your confidence about god i wish there was no such reality but brothers and sisters the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the wickedness that lies in our world i was talking with a young man on phone who sent me a text i think they worship one kind of idol and the father has been calling him i should come back there's something he's supposed to do the guy said he's not coming back after graduating from school they are asking you to come they will buff you put something on your head like a cap and one kind of ritual like this after that they will say you can go the guy said he's not coming and the man told him that that thing whatever it is will pursue him and look for him with his blood father the boy was speaking to me and i said let me tell you my brother if you go there and carry yourself and go and sit down under that whatever it is and they bath you with the blood of an animal and do those rituals uh -uh, god is able rather than wasting your time paying transport use the money and buy a book that reveals a mystery that you you keep the enemy at bay because what that shrine is trying to prevent him from will look for him if he doesn't have the mystery allocated he can make bold face and say i won't go but you will soon find out that it will happen to him first child dull second child very dull third child very dull and the person says, i'm brilliant my wife is brilliant and he sees that thing in a dream he say i i told you 10 years ago you would have rescued your children see don't reject darkness without having the light component don't just say i reject darkness eh, every shine in my village god forbid it's a joke you must have the light component otherwise i tell you to haunt you and tear you into pieces there are forces of darkness we need divine intervention because of our inaccuracy we need the intervention because listen the pace at which darkness attempts to destroy us versus our level of spiritual growth will require divine intervention at some point now look at me listen let me tell you something in the next 10 years there are things that i will know then that i don't know now but satan is plotting all kinds of schemes over my life based on the knowledge i need to know 10 years to come I need intervention by the mercy of God to give me victory before I enter that level of understanding. If my victory is purely left to my level of understanding alone, it means that I will be punished on many grounds before I come into that knowledge. You need divine intervention. Is God speaking to someone here? Hmm. Let me tell you this. I am very outspoken about results. I'm not a man of God that will lie to you and say results don't matter. It's a lie. It's a lie. If results don't matter, why do you go to work? Why do you wait for salary at the end of the month? Is that true? Results matter to God, matter to the devil, matter to everybody on earth. Whether we agree or not. Results are consolations to your Christian experience. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for results. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you. Even Jesus saw a fig tree that was receiving nourishment from the principle he programmed in the earth and was not yielding the result he caused it in annoyance so god wants us to bear fruit but there are keys that we must understand please look up there are many of us here and there are many of our family members here had they known that there is a mystery that controls divine intervention many tragedies we now weep over would not have happened listen carefully are we together now yes somebody looked at you and vowed and said pastor alpha i will destroy you we said no problem you wouldn't destroy me but you did not understand the component the revelation component and eventually it caught up with you
I pray for a lady. She probably may be following now online. Married, loved her husband. All of a sudden, the husband just changed and became a, a very, very funny man. Doesn't even stay in the same room with her and all of that. And she, she could not take it again and she called me. Do you know, I prayed with that lady and just this morning she sent me a text. She said she woke up in the morning and just saw her husband sitting by her bed. Something brought him. Listen, listen. This is what I, you see. Men are slaves to the mysteries that control them. You can program things like a bomb in the spirit and just go and watch it. The same way I can put a bomb and I program blow by 8 o'clock and then I just move somewhere and I'm laughing at everybody around here because it must blow except another agency superimposes it. This is how you can program results in the realm of the spirit and watch like a movie as they unfold in the earth realm using things you call circumstances, coincidences but you know that they are intentional results that were programmed by mysteries this is how i want your life to be that you can sit down and program growth program speed program breakthrough and watch everything like a movie and day after day you watch someone get up and say sorry elijah i i, I hope this is a new keyboard i bought for you and you laugh something was programmed your house that has been 10 years refused to be completed you program something by understanding and someone comes to say ah, sam i don't know do you mind me complete this house and you will say yes because it was intentionally done you don't say i'm surprised you are coming i'm not surprised you were called that, are we together that's why when people die in the villages the harbalists don't cry have you ever seen them crying no something they programmed they program somebody from london and tell him where to come and die when he dies other people are crying at the guys as well it's just to let you know that we are not children you can program things from the foundations of the earth some things were programmed and the intelligence of the father he watched everything unfold through redemption no power could stop it satan tried he entered he went when jesus was fasting now came and entered peter now came and entered when he entered judas i'm sure satan thought he was smart paul was watching it like a movie and saying yeah yeah had they known this so this was the caricature that god was making out of satan he thought he was smart but he was god was using him as a slave because you see when you kill a man according to scripture his blood will haunt you so god made sure it was satan that killed jesus yeah go and read your bible blood is a mystery it remains on the head of the killer forever paul was watching this whether he was in a hole in a cave in prison i don't know but paul was saying ah, ah. satan couldn't you see jesus casted you out of peter and left you in judas you didn't ask why you just continued until you became a fool that's the reason why when we invoke the blood something really happens it happens to whoever was the killer when cain killed abel blood cried against him cried against him <laughs> I need divine intervention you need divine intervention samaria needed divine intervention please sit down they got to a point scripture says come that they got to a point where women can you imagine brothers and sisters that you get to a point where you are not just eating goats you are not just eating clothes women you have your child i'm telling you there is a strange grace this year for fruitfulness and miracles in this ministry we have seen very dramatic manifestations and and all of that there are mothers all around with their children moving right and center now imagine pastor alphas that little baby imagine annie holding this her child and saying look there is so much poverty pastor alpha travels somewhere to go and look for food and she liasses with a jimmy's wife two of them they carry jael and carry david and two of them stand and agree and they say we are eating jael this night 
you eat it what sort of hunger makes you eat a whole human being now watch this then the bible says they ate the first one then the next day it was the turn to eat the other one and the mother said no and the woman said no you ate my child listen while that confusion was happening the king started passing and they went they said king you can't leave us like this and when all of that happened the king said look for elisha for me look for elisha for me because he had that elijah program farming he said i'm sure elisha has a hand in this trouble go and look for this 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 guy was mentored by the troublemaker of israel go and look for elisha watch this while all of this suffering was happening the bible says elisha and the sons of the prophet were he didn't say they were hungry when he saw the king coming he said this son of a murderer wants to now come and kill me or you push you stop him and because of that it's okay now he's called my attention let me casually do something about what is killing a nation by this time kabakoto sakataya by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow listen he didn't tell you how it will happen if you understand the superiority of the realm of the spirit you will never ask how results manifest you see let me tell you something when people argue and say how did this thing happen they are not wise the raw materials that create the earth are resident within the realm of the spirit he said by this time tomorrow by this time i'm hurrying up i would have given you scriptures but i really want us to pray that by this time tomorrow they call, hey, please help them this will cause this and that and then a foolish man like many doubters that insult men of god he said what are you saying i mean i'm the minister of this and that i read this and that even if the windows hey, yeah. he knew that much that heaven had a window with what did they build the window he never asked if god will open the window will these things be and the prophet said to me you will see it all but they will kill you in front of that breakthrough then look at how the miracle happened the prophecy had been programmed in the spirit now it is up to the word this is where the wisdom of god starts he starts searching for scenarios in the earth that can bring what is in the spirit to manifest are you seeing how prophecy comes to pass watch this look at this let me teach you something watch this look at me and learn if i prophesy to you a mecca and say by tomorrow if it is really by the spirit i say by tomorrow money is coming to your account i have placed that word in the spirit hold on the word manifests by the wisdom of the spirit let me tell you what the wisdom of the spirit is it will start searching the earth to look for the scenario on earth that is capable of bringing that word down then connect it to the individual listen the wisdom of god will move to a rich man if it's not open it will move to somebody who god had instructed to so if he will keep moving like that that's how the anointing got to mary to be the mother of jesus the bible never said the name of the mother of jesus will be mary the prophecy started searching for a virgin when he found one and she said i'm available he brought her out listen there are too many activities on earth that can mirror what is happening in the heavens for God to be bankrupt in terms of manifestation when God says I want to bless you he is already speaking to millions of people to sow it's just that he has not told them who to sow the wisdom of God can just connect one of them you see how prophecy works I'm helping your faith so that when God says I will do this you now sit with your limited mind and say i only know uncle a and b and i already know a promise you will never see me and god is saying no we are talking about the wisdom of the creator look at what happened four lepers everybody say four lepers four lepers were sitting quietly and the wisdom of god the spirit of wisdom because the word of god must come to pass the man of god had declared it and the the anointing came on the lepers they thought they were just tired 
but they didn't know that at that point they were under the influence of a man of god and the word started programming that result they say why sit here till we die even that talk was by the spirit they thought they were gisting and they said look let's just get up and go to the camp of our enemies and tell them kill us but let's eat first the bible says the moment they began to go god changed their people they began to hear the sounds of chariots and all of listen were they not warriors is it not fight they fought to get those things couldn't they fight again when god wants to bless you he will move your enemy in a way that you will not even know how things happen I know I should not graduate but there is a mystery that can be programmed a man is watching your result 37 over 50 you need 50 something comes on him and he right and he does not even know listen listen people some people hear the testimony of some of our some of the people who wrote jam here that jam changes from 100 and something to two and you hear them talking nonsense talking stupid things and saying how can it happen and i said look, look at this foolishness how does a boil come out of your stomach where did the mass accumulate from that projected out did any part of your body reduce for it to come out did he ask where it came from then when it disappears you say where did it go to you see how we think son of man can these bones live again immediately oh not after 10 years not gradually can these bones live again he said god i've seen many miracles but i've not seen this type that a dry bone is not like a dead human being i believe in raising the dead but dry bones and he said okay i want to show you something that when i show up i compress time and make things happen and he said prophesy prophesy and things began to shift listen it is too late when mysteries have been programmed in the spirit take it from me the moment a man programs something in the spirit you better find a way of countering it in the spirit otherwise it must manifest